What's up, everybody? Happy Sunday. Paul here, Left Coast Small Car Builds. Got my coffee. Been watching you guys' videos about an hour or so. Working on a build over here. We got our Camaro for Mars uh, Rust Bucket, which got to add a little rust to this thing. Like I said, this is, uh, we're going to say our buddy Joe purchased this car and has been fixing it up so it's not gonna it's i got some ideas here get into that a little later but otherwise this has been kind of another week of uh straightening up out here in the shop or you can almost say a lack of right as you can see our table is full again the bench is a bit of a mess which that's fine We've been working on some stuff. So we're going to be doing some organizing today along with some building. we got some paints in. Got a few other things to go through. I like that dupli color. We've been using a lot of this acrylic lacquer, which is more like a matte. And then there's semi-gloss. I like those a lot. Along with some older paints down there we've been going through. And, uh, Going through, getting some kits up that we're going to sell, probably between Etsy and eBay. So yeah, just going through some stuff, but always fun. So give me a second, I'm going to get this rearranged. We'll be right back. What's up everybody, Paul here. So we're out here, been watching uh, model cars and coffee videos, working on this Camaro for... Mars is uh rust rust builds group build so like I said I took basically while I was building my gold Camaro I'm taking some leftover parts and I have one kit that the body was kind of damaged on not too worried about for the rust it's gonna be banged up a little bit but so this was a body I'd done some body work primered for anybody that doesn't know the guide coat, which is the misted black, you generally use that as you're blocking your body down to show high and low spots. So some of this will stay in guide coat or a lot of it. I'm gonna add a little bit of rust, sand through a few spots. I took uh, the unpainted, I believe Krager's, that they give you and just sprayed the Revell chrome over the uh, white plastic actually looked really good and then I took and misted a coat to bring to add it down kind of look like they're oxidized a little give them a little bit of a weathered look but still chrome versus like a silver that was the first time using the chrome spray seems like good stuff looking forward to working with that a little more so this one I flocked the interior, uh, just detailed the dash a little, you really can't see now it's in there. So I left the windows out of this, partly because one of these posts is bent, is bent in. Originally I was trying to straighten it out when I was building what's now my gold one, but it just did not want to go back, and then it kind of got weak. So I took, added a little bare metal foil around the trim here yesterday. I left the windows out. I was actually, I was gonna tape, tape off one or two of the windows, but that would be more of it sitting in a body shop. So I didn't quite do that. But yeah, it's, it's been a fun build and I'm looking forward to uh, next year's Rust Bucket Group build. I'm gonna try to actually do a little more of a fully rusted out build maybe even before that but just doing something like this that you know kind of making it somewhere in between it won't look like a fully finished model because like I said our buddy Joe here is in process of working on this but it's been fun it's been cool just working on uh, some of the basics you know your fundamentals of just cleaning parts up doing stuff keeping stuff simple Got to touch up a few things, but yeah, really cool. 
So aside from that, working on a few other group builds on and off, but I think later today, once I get wherever I'm going to end on this, I'm going to clean the bench off. And what I want to do is actually get, we've been doing some cleaning in the rooms where some of the model display cases are up on shelves. We've got it down to a single tier since I got that Carney display case. I think I'm going to bring some of those displays out here and just make a little line on the back of the shelf here outside of, you know, not in front of the window, but on the, behind the two work areas and have some finished builds there. It's always nice being able to look around and see some finished builds. That's one thing I always enjoyed about watching some of your guys' videos. Uh, Jason over at Blue Ox, I think the intake. A few of you guys, Mike there, a uh, few of you guys that have just the nice background stuff, your videos. I like, this is really cool. You know, I get the shop cards, some kits back there. It's coming along. A lot of ideas out here, but it also helps, I think, motivational-wise when you're working on stuff to be able to just see something finish. It's, it's for me, it's you get in a slump or a stalled build. Sometimes it's nice to go through, finish a curbside, something something easy. It looks good sitting there, build a little mo momentum, motivation. So I think having a few builds here of, you know, between the kids, Pops, and myself, it'll be cool just to be working on stuff and have those to look at. So anyways... I'm going to get back to my coffee, get back to your guys' videos here. Again, I truly appreciate, you know, all the folks jumping in. I really didn't think, you know, so many folks would be jumping in on this, but hopefully you're enjoying it. It's just, you know, simple way to uh, do a quick little video like you're sitting here chatting with somebody. So hope you guys have had a great week. Happy Sunday. Prayers out there to our friends throughout the community. You know, I know there's some folks out there, health issues. You know, our buddy, uh, Mike, there lost a family member, uh, father, you know, the intake. So my condolences. So, yeah, as always, you know, always prayers needed throughout. And you know, it's a great community. So keep everybody in your, your thoughts and prayers. All right, guys. I hope you've had a great week. Hopefully we all have a good week next week. Get some bench time in, time in with your family. And we'll catch you guys on the next one.